Four leg walking robot development part one. I've got the idea that I'd like to build a full size mechanical rideable horse and also a mechanical mountain lion full size. And the first step in that process will be to get a working four leg walking machine that's fast and good for all sorts of terrain. So I've got this design that I drew here for a rear leg in a 2D physics simulator called Algodoo. I'll put a link in the description if you want to try that. It's free. And so I got that mechanism working okay in the drawing. Then I built a Kinex model. And I decided that I really like this rear leg design. This wasn't the first one that I designed, but that was the one that I decided to go with. And since I really like that one, I'm 3D printing it. It's going to be the first part for a small model that I'll put together the walking mechanism. Here's the first completed leg. Actually it's not like all the way completed, but you can see the mechanism here. It rests on two axles at the hip and it's controlled by one cam wheel which is can has gear teeth around the edge so it can be easily driven by a motor that gear that's that thin gear that's on top of it is just a spacer it's not actually needs to be a gear just a spacer and this is the main part of the leg obviously the inside of the thigh is hollow and the lower leg pivots on those two joints and since those two rods that connect the lower leg and the thigh aren't parallel. The lower leg pivots a little bit as you move it up and down. That's not the unique mechanism that I came up with. I'd seen a leg design like that, but I came up with this way of driving it with a wheel by having a slot up the thigh that connects to the lower leg and drives the whole mechanism just with the wheel. pretty happy with the way that came out. It seems to be working good. I'm just going to graph the movement pattern of the foot by taping a sharpie to the end of it. You can see it's very similar to the movement pattern of the model in the computer. And I'd also done this earlier using a smaller cam that was driving the leg. And you can see how it makes a much smaller step. So I think on the final version, the length from the center of the wheel to the point of the cam that's driving the leg should be variable so you can adjust the step size. And that dotted line represents where the ground might be. This is another mechanism for a leg. This would be like a front leg. It's based closely on Teo Jensen's leg mechanism. That one's good because it makes a very smooth like movement along the ground. You can see the dotted line that was on the ground moved very s in a straight horizontal line. And this was actually the first leg that I came up with recently. 
I thought this was going to be a rear leg when I was designing it, but now I think it would be better for a biped leg and use that other leg for the rear leg, the one that I 3D printed. The reason I think this would be good for a biped leg is because, as you can see here, one of the bones at the top controls the thigh movement, this other one in the front controls the foot angle, and the one in the back controls the lower leg angle, and all these can be controlled independently from each other, and they're controlled up at the hip. So you could have any motors or components like that up inside the mechanism, and sticking out below is basically just metal rods and a foot or something. So you can have fine control of each part without having any sensitive pieces and heavy pieces down in the other part of the leg. And this is a model in that same thing, that same physics simulator, I guess it's called, of that leg. So it'll probably be kind of a while before this project really gets done, but anyway, I'll keep working on it. Thank you for watching. Bye.